Six. Going dark. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some Rainbow Six. Uh, it is me, Zeus, bringing you guys another strat. This strat's going to be a master bedroom slash construction take on the map clubhouse. Um, this is just kind of some B-roll footage to give me some time to talk about it. So. I'll see you guys in the map to talk about the rest of the strat. All right. Now the first operator you're going to want to bring is going to be Nomad. The only thing that might be a little strange about your kit is you're going to be bringing breach charges as opposed to flashbangs. You're going to breach open both Jacuzzi wall and logistics hatch. The reason you're breaching both of these is to kind of give your team some options to clear out any roamers as well as just make it easier. You guys get to split up and you don't all get nitroed. Now in droning, be sure to clear behind that desk, those two corners in that little room, this little cubby. The point is pushing master bedroom, but rather than driving your drone straight there, you'll want to push into gym, check the corners and check behind this gym or this weight set here. Now, when you drone out bedroom, there's only really two areas people are going to sit. It'll either be the corner with the broom or the shower. You can check behind the toolbox in the middle, but you'll want to switch over to your drone, which you should pre-place at the bottom of these stairs. I just like to jump it up on this, but anywhere that watches the stairs will do. After you've done that, you're just going to go ahead and drop. You can set a breach charge here in advance if you want, or you can wait for a second. I like to pre-place it. But then I go set up my flank watch. Now, a lot of people put their nomad like on that corner or up on that beam. I like to look at this like crown stuff and put it right about here. Uh, it leaves a tiny sliver where people can't see. You can shoot it, I think, from here. It's not quite enough, but one more step past that and they will definitely set it off. And at worst, they are able to shoot it but now they've made audio. So you're at least aware you can also put one at the top of those stairs. I don't like that one because people can still get a pretty decent line of sight from the top of the staircase. Now, when I'm going to peak construction, you noticed I blew the breach charge. I'll kind of do that to distract anybody behind that big tool shed now or shed case. Now, if you're going to cross, be weary of, um, the rotate that I was just shooting at there, the diffuser will be going down on that ping. Don't worry about it. We're going to get to that operator later. But after the plant goes down, you're going to air jab both the rotate and server door. You can be pretty aggressive, but I prefer it if you stay back and just kind of wait for a diffuser to start getting tickled. Gridlock is your alternative, and she basically has all the tools to do exactly what Nomad can. The only major difference is going to be your flank watch stuff. Um, you'll still open both uh, jacuzzi wall and logistics hatch. Just with your flank watch, you can actually double it up because you end up with four gridlocks instead of the three nomads. I like to just put one on each layer of the stairs. I usually throw it somewhere near like the third or fourth stair because that gets a very good coverage and gets just about the entire staircase. But another cool thing is you get EMPs with gridlock in the event for some reason they have this wall uh, electrified or muted. You can still make the same rotate. I would recommend only making it from inside construction because uh, if you start making it, there's a good chance you're going to get pre-fired by somebody on the box on my right. Now, of course, plant goes down and you'll put gridlocks in effectively the same spots that you would a Nomad. Um, when you throw the second gridlock, though, I messed up and threw it a little far. Try to throw it more in the doorway. The next operator is going to be either Thermite or Ace. Um... I just took Thermite for this example. Their jobs are the exact same. Just with Thermite, you're going to get smokes. And with Ace, you'll take breach charges in the event Nomad or Gridlock get spawn peaked. Uh, this is obviously assuming they've already droned everything out. But picking up from here, you're going to go to this wall. And you're actually going to put your Thermite charge on the furthest right wall, as far right as you can get, and then pop it. Because you're going to want to put that diffuser down just about on that wall. Like, it doesn't have to be exactly on it but as close to the wall as you can. Now, when you smoke things off, try to smoke the rotate. If you can smoke it a little deeper than I did, there wasn't a rotate for me to throw it through, but try to land it right about at the top of red stairs. 
this one here just smoke off the doorway try not to obscure your vision too much try to bank it just a little bit deeper now that's the plant spot you're not actually expected to survive this as the planter you can go get really aggressive or you can kind of fall back it's up to you ultimately of course i'm kind of a slow player so if i was thermite i'd kind of just back up a little bit and wait for him to start tickling it now i'm not going to show you ace's job because it's the exact same but the next operator that you're going to want to bring is going to be spawning construction site and it will either be ash or buck i'm just taking ash in this example uh, the only thing that may be weird is you're bringing breach charges. Now, what you're going to do is you'll run all the way over to the end of dirt. You're going to breach this wall here, being careful of that window because sometimes people spawn peak there. You're going to breach into dirt, trying not to hurt yourself like I did. You're just going to run all the way down dirt, being careful of anybody who may be sitting in armory down here. This corner is especially popular or behind uh, this box here in dummies. You can also clear out behind the generator and then you are just going to sit right here behind the generator and wait. Now, if you've gotten into a gunfight at any point up to the generator, what you're actually going to do is back way the hell up, prone out right here in dirt and just wait until your team is calling out they're getting the wall. At that time, you can get up, you're gonna run yourself all the way into generator. And if you've never had to leave, obviously this isn't a long run, you're going to open this hatch and then I always forget what angle to stand at. So you're going to notice me kind of looking around, but um, you're going to look at these boxes and shoot an ash charge right about there. And that should clear anybody off of green box and your team will be getting the plant down right about now. Your job basically is just cover the rotate and behind green box. But this angle is pretty good. It's a three floor angle. So after you've done that, you'll rotate to this window. You, you can manually hold the flank, but if somebody dies over anywhere over there, whether that be the thermite or the nomad or any of the other two operators, cause Ash is actually the last one you need. But if it's anybody else you have coordinating over here, um, you're just gonna come over and take their spot and make sure that the diffuser stays safe. Uh, here's that angle, by the way, in case you guys wanted to see what it looks like from this side. And it's a long one now. The other two optional operators you can bring are actually going to be OSA. Now, when you bring OSA, you can bring smokes, EMPs, or claymores. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to throw on EMPs because I can. But assuming everything has already been all droned out and taken care of, you're going to set both your OSA shields here and in master doorway. Now, the reason you're going to do that is, well, it should be kind of obvious. This is a nice safe spot to be able to sit and watch the diffuser. You will need to be careful of main stairs. If somebody does get a flank off on you, it's going to be kind of rough. This wall will be open. The diffuser is down there. So obviously being able to sit back behind this OSA shield is going to keep you nice and secure. Now, the other OSA shield here, you're probably wondering what is for, but it's in the event that somebody tries to look out CC or server window, they won't get a line of sight. They will have to jump out and the shield will keep anybody who's sitting in close proximity relatively safe. You can still be nitroed and impacted, but that doesn't change much. The alternative is going to be either Twitch or Thatcher or IQ or Zofia or Sens or Gridlock or really anybody, or excuse me, Grim, or really anybody with a Claymore. Now you can take this Claymore and set it here. I think I set these two close together, but if you scoot that second Claymore just a little further back, you can actually keep your shit secured twice which is super neat um it's it basically just keeps people from jumping out and you can catch up to two people with these i don't know if you can make a longer chain but that's a thing speaking of sends he's just some extra operator that you can bring um doesn't matter what your secondary gadget is um you're gonna have to forgive me i kind of screw these up quite a bit uh i, I haven't played a whole lot of sends but the angles are kind of, I think I walk over them eventually. So this first one was supposed to be further back and just sends off that door. It was supposed to do what the second one I threw did. Now you're going to notice we get kind of confused on all this, but yeah, it was basically supposed to do that. Cuts off anybody who'd be peeking from garage and they wouldn't know anything of what's going on. And the second one, so this one that I'm throwing now is supposed to be what the second one was going to be. Uh, you can throw it a lot closer to the corner, 
and actually miss this one, you're going to see it acts a lot just like a smoke grenade. So I guess that could kind of work if you wanted to smoke yourself off. But uh, the way it's supposed to go is it bounces off there and you're going to see me just walk the pattern of it after this uh, disappears. Sorry about the awkward. It's supposed to bounce here and try to get it to bounce off green box and all the way over to here. That will provide you a big chunk of cover so they don't actually know where the plant is going down because default is actually just in that doorway and it blocks off all the line of sight from the rotate forward. Now, it wouldn't be a strat of mine, again, of course, without counter. Pulse, Valkyrie, Sends, or uh, Sends, Solus, and uh, Mozzie are probably going to be the best counters. I don't even hover over Mozzie. But you can also just open this hatch with any operator who's able to, and you're able to get a line of sight onto that part of the wall. Now, it doesn't look like much, but it actually gets more than half the wall. So if Thermite was here crouching trying to set it, you would still see the top of his head, and you could also just shoot any Selmas off the wall. But the best ability for you is going to be playing down here in stock, unheard or unseen by anybody. You'll see where the plant is going down, and you'll be able to nitro it. Ash will be playing down blue, as you know, but that is probably, pro probably, probably the weakest part of the strategy. Um, she's not exactly needed, neither is Buck, and you can get an angle from all the way back here, never being contested. If she pushes you, you'll hear it, and if she's only making the angle through the hatch, then you are doing great. Now, the only other counter I was really able to find to be super effective is Warden. Um, if you use Warden and peek through the smoke here with these glasses, uh, you just get a free kill on the diffuser. Uh, that's if they bring a sends or a sm or just smokes on the thermite. Now, like I was saying earlier with the smoke that you have to throw through the rotate, I threw it kind of here. I'd get to peek way out, but that's why you want to get it right on the cusp of that rotate hole so they don't have any vision and a warden can't push out and get an angle. Obviously, nitro cells are useful too with warden, but that's kind of it. Let me know if you guys use this com or this down in the comments. Um, I'm going to try and draw a heart here. I just kind of wanted to give some closing thoughts. Uh, let me know if you guys got any like other good strategies, any ideas. If you guys want to see a map next or if you guys want to see just like a whole map overview, just kind of let me know. Um, I'd be happy to oblige. But yeah, that's kind of all I've got for you guys. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And you guys take it easy. Peace out.